From Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of our show, Jack Bailey. Thank you very much, and let's go to work. This is the Joker's Wild. On our last program, you may recall, we crowned a brand new champion who won himself almost $4,000 in cash and prizes and is ready to take on challenger number two. So, Jay Stewart, would you introduce the next challenger and the champion? Jack, here's our current champion returning with $3,900 in cash and merchandise. It's Richard Hershkoff. <laughs> and his opponent is a school administrator. Her hobbies are skiing and photography. Meet Paula Maitre. Well, Richard, nice to have you here on the program. Richard, you recuperated from your $4,000 win? Uh, not quite, not quite. Well, you get a chance to go on up the ladder. As you know, this will be contest number two, played against Paula Maitre. That's an interesting name, Maitre? Maitre, like your tree. <laughs> well, maybe like your tree. But you, you, uh, have you, were you teased about that name as a child? Uh, now and then. What did they say to you? Well, Maitre, Mighty, your tree, that type of thing. Oh, I was thinking of something else. <laughs> I'd like to climb up my tree. Wait, didn't they say the same stuff like that? <laughs> Nobody ever said that, do you? No one. Well, the instead first. of that, why, why don't we climb up the ladder here and take a look at the categories? Here they are. In this game, the categories will be mixed fruits. We'll show you some mixed up words. Songs about places, quotations, followed by aviation history, and finally, labor unions. Challenger goes first. I promise never to make fun of your name again, Paula Maitre. Your yep, spin. Thank you, Good luck. Your first spin, you get mixed fruit, aviation history, and a joker. I'll take mixed fruits for 100, Jack. Take a look behind me, if you will. The name of this mixed fruit might make you think that it's one of the oldest berries. Name the fruit which makes a fine wine. Grape. Nope. Nope, that's not right. You'll pick, you'll pick up $100 if you can tell me, Richard. It's the apple. No, I tell you, it's the word all mixed up. It's elderberry. Elderberry. Oh. You see? That's what that says back there. And the elderberry grows on my tree. Uh, oh. Richard, your spin. No, Richard spins, I believe. Richard spins, that's correct. Thank you. Come on, jokers. And you have labor unions, long about places and quotations. Okay, Jack, I think I'll take... Let's see, I can't... Things about places? Songs, Songs about, about, places? about places. Is that the one you want? Yes. Okay. We're off to a rather shaky start on this program, I would say. <laughs> the group Three Dog Night responded, recorded a Hoyt Axton song with the name of a country in the title. The song was called Never Been to Where Before. Never Been to Where. Um. Can't do it. $50 if you can give me the correct answer, Paula. Never been to England. No, it's never been to Spain. <laughs> Uh, we still have a no score here, it seems to me, and we'll continue playing. Paula, your spin. Those about places, Joker and mixed fruit. I'll try mixed fruits for a hundred, Jack. Okay. Now you understand, do you not, that the word you're going to see is the actual word. It's not grape, it's not apple. If it's a ten-letter word, it can't be a grape or an apple. All right? Take a look behind me, if you will. If you wanted to get married and ask, this is a clever one. If you wanted to get married and ask your father for permission, the name of this mixed fruit might be the answer he would give you. Name it. Can't do it. You'll pick up uh, $100 if you can tell me, Richard. El elopement? No, el no, that was, but you're getting closer. <laughs> you two can't elope. Oh. Oh. Uh, I think this audience is getting hostile, and I think, I think if we don't get a correct answer here soon, they'll have to be up on the stage with us. Okay. All right, well, we have no score, and it's your spin, Richard. Okay, come on, Jokers. Joker, aviation history, and mixed fruit, your favorite categories, back again. <laughs> okay, Jack, I think I'll change this time, and I'll take uh, aviation history for 100. You coward. <laughs> Commercial airline pilots often report their ETA to an airport control tower. What do the initials ETA stand for? Uh, estimated time of arrival. That's right. You have $100. 4-0 to 100. 
And it's your spin paw. <laughs> Joker, aviation history and quotations. I'll try quotations for 100, Jack. He's credited with saying, my mother loved children. She would have given anything if I had been one. Name this mustache, mustached comedian who formed a memorable team with his brothers. Groucho Marx. He's the one, and you have $100. Richard? Uh, okay, come on, jokers. Don't go places a pair and a triple. <laughs> Well, getting an actual triple, you get a special bonus prize, a beautiful set of encyclopedia, which I know you will oh, use fantastic. well, especially to look up fantastic. mixed fruit. <laughs> and you have a $200 question on songs about places. Are you ready? Okay. This Barry Manilow song about a weekend begins with the lines, Last night we said goodbye, now it seems years. According to the song's title, where did that weekend take place? Can't do it. $200 for you if you tell me, Paula. San Francisco. It sounds natural, but it's not true. <laughs> New England. New England. Score is all tied up. A hundred apiece, and we'll be back after these words. This <laughs> is a longer one. As most of you know by now, if any player is lucky enough to win five games in a row, they get this bonus prize. It's a brand new car! <laughs> the Buick Skylark with high energy ignition and powered by the economical, even firing V6 engine. For efficient and optimum fuel economy, it's the Buick Skylark! All right, we're going to continue this unusual game right now with a score. With a score tied at 100, 100. Now, you would never know up to this point that one of our players is a school teacher and the other is a school administrator, now would you? But they are, and now they're out to prove that they weren't the positions they hold. All right, it's your spin, Paula. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have a joker, and a joker, and a joker. See, and no sooner did I spell out the facts as they exist than she proved how smart she is. Okay. Now you really can do it by taking one category. Yes. Answer um, it correctly and you win the game. I'm going to try mixed fruits, Jack. <laughs> okay. All right. You, you are the school administrator, not the school teacher, right? <laughs> not the fruit. Which, uh... <laughs> All right, we're going to see now what it does prove is she has courage. <laughs> Here we go. This is for the ball game and $500. If this mixed fruit and its relatives were to have a family reunion, you reunion it might take place in a Christmas pie. For $500 and your honor... Name this relative of the plum. Prune. You win the game! <laughs> well, congratulations, Paula. I compliment you, you for having the courage to do that which you had done so poorly in before, but you redeemed yourself in our eyes and in the eyes of all those children who go to the school which you right. administered. And in a moment, you will get a chance to play against the devil. As for you, Richard, I hope you have minded our gently hitting you here on the program. As a matter of fact, uh, I, don't, I suppose you wouldn't mind at all knowing you go home with $4,250. And you played very, very well in the last Thank game, you. indeed. And you just had kind of a mental block this time. Good luck to you. I hope you have fun spending the money. Let's say goodbye to Thank Richard Hirschhoff. At the same time, inviting Paula to come on over here and meet this devil. Come on over here. I bet, you never, I, bet, yeah, I bet you never thought it was going to be this way in the Joker's Wild, did you? Huh? No, not with fruits. I wish you'd stop referring to that word all the time. At any rate, we're delighted that you could finally emerge victorious. And as you'll notice, since last week, they must have fed something to our, our, our little lever here because it's grown about a foot and a half. And that isn't going to stop you, I hope, from 
get it, avoiding the devil, because up on the wheels we have the devils and money, and if you can avoid the devil and get to $1,000 or more, I'll give you the $1,000 and these gifts over here. Paula, it's the Joker's Wild Home and Travel Package. First for your food storage, it's a freezer. Whirlpool 16 cubic foot upright freezer with power saving energy control switch, porcelain enamel liner, power interruption light, key jack lock, and no fingerprint textured steel door from Whirlpool Corporation. Next, you'll entertain in elegance with this crystal. Leonard Silver's genuine hand cut full lead crystal featuring a vase decanters bowls and many other sparkling crystal accessories for your home all furnished by the leonard silver manufacturing company and you can relax in these recliners lazy boy chairs perfect where space is limited this wall recliner will recline when placed one inch from the wall gives you that lazy boy comfort and built-in quality and finally paula after relaxing at home you'll be relaxing in romantic rome We'll fly you to the capital city of Italy. Enjoy Rome's gentle lifestyle. Sightsee among the ancient ruins. Lie in the sun, dine on gourmet cuisine, and look at the world's greatest art in a place where men have been able to divide and conquer time. Furnished by Club Universe. And Paula, this home and travel package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,650. Sound like fun? Sounds like a lot of fun. All well, you gotta do is avoid the devil. Give him a spin. I'll go for it. Her first spin, she gets $100, $150. One hundred, $200, $250. If you stop now, who you got in the audience? Anybody? I have my mother and my friends and their children. Mother and friends and children, where are you? Let me see your hands. There they are on the third or fourth row. What do you want her to do, huh? $250. And you have $75, $200. Yes, another big one. Arrivederci, Roma. That's the yeah. devil. That's the devil giving you the devil about mixed fruits. That's what that is. Well, that's, of course, always a heartbreaking moment, but you will get another chance to come back here if you can Terrific. win another game. We'll give you a chance to do that right after we have a few of these commercial messages. Craftsman is creating. PM Eastern. I'm with our game as our champion, Paula Maitri, having won one game, is anxious to win two, and she can do that if she beats this challenger. And this challenger is a passenger service agent, Jack. His hobbies are camping and softball. Let's welcome Scott Alvey. Hi, Scott. How are you? Just fine, Jack. How are you today? Nice to have you here. You're a passenger service agent, and you camp. Why do you like to go camping so much? Gives you a rare opportunity to get away from crazy people at airports. Crazy people where? At airports. Oh, and out at camping, they're not crazy? Well, they're not quite as crazy, and they don't have to wait in lines. Well, I'll tell you something. You don't have to wait in line here. I'm going to share the categories right now, okay? Good. Here they are. Categories in this game are crossword definitions, followed by women writers, the Middle East, sports terms, and finally, what's their line? Challenger goes first. Scott Alavi, you're up. Good luck. I know sports is coming. Here it comes. What's their line? The Middle East and crossword definition. I don't know very much, I guess. Uh, give me what's their line for 50, please, Jack. All right, here's the question. Although John Tower of Texas stands only five feet five, he is one of the giants in his line of work. What does John Tower do? He's a United States senator. From Texas, you're right, you have $50. <laughs> Your second game, Paula, good luck. <laughs> Women writers, what's their line and a pair? Women writers for 100, Jack. Judith Rosner wrote a 1975 bestseller about a tragic young woman in the world of swinging singles bars. Name this Rosner bestseller. Um. Can't do it. You pick up $100 if you can tell me, Scott. Annie Hall? No. Looking for Mr. Good Bar. Right, right. Score 50 to nothing and your spin again, Scott. Okay. Joker, sports terms, Middle East. I'll try sports terms for 100, please, Jack. Which sport would you be playing if you volleyed your opponent with a shuttlecock? Badminton. Yes, that's right. You now have $150. <laughs> Paula. 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 Sports terms, what's their line? Crossword definitions. I'll try crossword definitions, Jack. Okay. 
This seven letter word means the art of shooting a bow and arrow. But what's the word? Archery. Yes, that's the one. You have $50. Your spin, Scott. Middle East, sports terms, and a pair. I'm going to try Middle East for 100, Jack. On September 20th, 1970, Anwar Sadat became president of Egypt. Give me the last name of the Egyptian president whom Sadat succeeded. Nasser? Yes, right. You have $250. <laughs> Paula. Middle East, sports terms, Women riders, joker, and crossword definitions. I'll try crossword definitions for 100, Jack. This six-letter word is a term that means being legally married to two people at the same time. Ironically, it's also a crime. What's the word? Polygamy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask if I've read that correctly. Did I, did I read that correctly, this six-letter? Is that right? Yes. I'm sorry, that is not the correct answer. You'll pick up $100 if you will tell me, Scott. I drew a blank. Foolish is the closest I can come to. <laughs> can we go back to mixed fruits? <laughs> Word is bigamy. Bigamy. Score remains 250 to 50, and it's your spin now, Scott. Joker, what's their line? Middle East. I'll try what's their line for 100, please, Jack. Martha Graham has been a driving force in her artistic profession for more than 50 years. What does she do for a living? She a writer? Nope. $100 of you, tell me, Paula. Dance. A dancer, a choreographer, right, you have $150. And your spin. Joker, Joker, what's their line? I'll try what's their line for 200 A man with the unusual name of Oral Roberts is one of the most well-known people in his profession. What's his line? Religion. Can we accept that? Yes, evangelist, religious college president. You go to $350. Your spin, Scott. Women Riders, Joker, and a triple. I'll try Women Riders for 200 If you answer correctly, you left $450. Not quite enough to win the game. But if you miss this question, and if Paula answers it, she will go over the mark and have $550 and win her second game. Yes, sir. First you. A book called Curtain marked the final appearance of this, la of this late English writer's most famed creation, Urquell Poirot. For $450, name this great mystery writer. Oh, I just drew a blank. I don't, um, I don't know. I just don't know. You can win the game with $550 if you know this great mystery writer. Um, Agatha Christie. Yes, that's right, Agatha Christie, you win the game. I must say, it was a pretty unorthodox game, but you've got it just in the nick of time. You've won $505, you're winning $1,050 all told. In the moment, you get a chance to play against the devil again. As for you, Scott, nothing but consolation prizes, but thanks very much for being with us in the program. Thank nice big answer, much. Scott. And come on over here and try to beat this devil, Paula. Come on over. And the trip to Rome, which is the important thing. You ready to go? I'll go Give for spin. it. There you have 200, 100, oh! Woo. Boy, you don't have trouble over there, you have trouble over here. Win game number three and you'll get try number three over here, right after we have these words, coming up. Feud. Another word about our tournament. In just about three weeks, we're going to have our annual Joker's Wild Tournament. The eight eligible top money winners of last year, whom you probably recognize, will compete against each other in a series of elimination matches. The winner will then proceed to a final championship battle with Frank Dillon, who, as you know, is our reigning champion. He won the championship last year, and the winner of that match, hear this, will receive $100,000. <laughs> including cash and some fabulous prizes. What are they, Jay? One is a brand new Buick. <laughs> It's the Skyhawk with compact, even firing V6 engine for a smooth, economical power. Overall sporty styling and comfort, the Skyhawk. Of course, there'll be four different trips, each trip in a different season, each trip to another part of the world. 
Paris, Morocco, Switzerland, and the South Pacific, and the runner-up, the runner-up will get a brand new car, plus what else, Jay? It's a trip around the world! First stop, Hong Kong, the pearly orient, where our runner-up will enjoy Chinese charm and culture. From there, our runner-up goes to Bangkok, where the oriental spirit continues in the capital and largest city of Thailand. Then it's off to intriguing Istanbul, where Europe and Asia meet. Then on to Germany, where culture blends with the folk festival spirit year-round. Then our runner-up will be off to merry old England to enjoy its beautiful countryside in the exciting city of London, while enveloped in tradition and history. Furnished by Club Universe. And then it's back home, Jack. And Paula, our time's up, so we'll see you on the next program with your thousand dollars and a chance to meet contestant number three. Jack Barry for the Joker's Wild. See you next time. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> and Richard Hurst off for pulling a natural triple. You have won this magnificent gift. World Books 22 volume encyclopedia, including the search guide and index volume. It's easy to use, easy to read, and easy to understand. Some of our departing contestants will receive some of the following. Wow! V8 Spicy Hot Festival Juice Cocktail. Its unique V8 flavor and spicy zip make it ideal as a mixer or zesty snack. Nestle low in calories, too. Wow! V8 Spicy Hot. And Cadbury Shortcake Snack, the delicious anytime snack that gives you the crispness of a cookie inside and the risk creamy goodness of a Cadbury chocolate outside. Plus a supply of Sidekick for home cleaning and laundry products that are concentrated, so a little goes a long way. Sidekick. Also, a new Sergeant's Heavy Duty Flea and Tick Collar for dogs and cats with 20% more of the insecticide that kills fleas and ticks. Keep Sergeants around. And Z-Brick brand Facing Brick. Add character and charm to your walls and create a beautiful new living environment. Z-Brick, the last word in wall covering. Plus Put a little spice in your life with FFV Pizza Thins, FFV Cookies and Crackers. Great! Famous Foods of Virginia bakes flavor in every bite.